Prepare to read. At home in the wild, genre study. Poetry uses images, sounds, and rhythm to express feelings. As you read the poems in At Home in the Wild, pay attention to repetition of words or lines, words that describe rhythm or beats between words. Set a purpose. As you read, create mental images or make pictures in your mind to help you understand details in the text. Power words, sheltered, weary, hide, wit. Sheltered, a sheltered place protects from wind and rain. The cave was a sheltered place. Weary, someone who is weary is very tired. We were all beginning to feel weary as we got closer to the finish line. Hide, a hide is an animal's skin. The shoes are made of animal hide. Wit. Wit is a talent for using words to be funny. These books are full of wit. People aren't the only living things that can build homes. Some animals build their own homes too. Prairie dogs dig underground burrows with tunnels that link together. Beavers use their teeth to knock down trees. Then they use the sticks and tree limbs to build lodges. Ants work together to dig networks of tunnels that are almost like underground cities. Animals have amazing ways to create a safe place to call home. At Home in the Wild, Poetry and Song. Polar Bear Family by Eileen Spinelli. Polar Bear Mama moves with grace to find a sheltered winter place. She digs a snow cave wide and deep where she and baby cubs can sleep. Come spring, the cubs set out for fun. They romp all day in the Arctic sun. They slip and slide, they race and roam. Then weary, ride their mama home. Big Brown Moose by Joyce Sidman. I'm a big brown moose. I'm a rascally moose. I'm a moose with a tough shaggy hide. And I kick and I prance in a long-legged dance with my moose mama close by my side. I shrug off the cold and I sneeze at the wind. And I swivel my ears in the snow. And I tramp and I tromp over forest and swamp cause there's nowhere a moose cannot go. I'm a big brown moose. I'm a ravenous moose. As I hunt for the willow and you, with a snort and a crunch, I rip off each bunch and I chew and I chew and I chew. When together we slump in a comfortable clump, my mountainous mama and I, I give her a nuzzle of velvety muzzle our frosty breath drifts to the sky. I'm a big brown moose. I'm a slumberous moose. I'm a moose with a warm, snuggly hide. And I bask in the moon as the coyotes croon with my moose mama close by my side. Over in the meadow. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun lived a sweet mother frog and her little froggy one. Croak, said the mother. I croak, said the one. So they croaked and they croaked in the sand in the sun. Over in the meadow in the stream so blue lived a shiny mother fish and her little fishies too. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the two. So they swam and they swam in the stream so blue. Over in the meadow on a branch of the tree lived a wise mother bird and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother. We sing, said the three. So they sang and they sang on a branch of the tree. Over in the meadow at a den near the shore lived a mighty mother wolf and her little cubs four. Howl, said the mother. We howl, 
said the four. So they howled and they howled at their den near the shore. Over in the meadow in a busy beehive lived a fuzzy mother bee and her little bees five. Buzz, said the mother. We buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and they buzzed in a busy beehive. The Cricket by Alberto Blanco. The night contains his wit, his music, and his silence. For each star is a cricket in the grass of the sky. The Ant by Alma Flor Ada and F. Isabel Campoy. Here comes the ant out of its hole, grabs a grain of wheat and returns like a mole. Another ant comes out of its hole, grabs a grain of wheat and returns like a mole. Another ant comes out of its hole, 